Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And I'm Isaiah. And we are back with a brand new maths game. Uh, today's game is called a maths grid. Now, boys haven't seen this yet. I'm about to flip it around for them. So every time you do a maths grid, it's made up of a, a four by four box. As the three columns have headings, three of the rows have headings, which means there are nine boxes in the middle that the kids need to fill in. Now today, we're going to do it that the kids are going to work on this individually, trying to fill in the boxes. Every box has got two clues they need to fill in. Okay, so Isaiah, for example, can you give us, this box has got to match two clues. Can you tell us a number that could go in this box? Yeah, it's easy. 20. And so 20 is an even number? Yes. And 20 is less than 30? Yes. Are you allowed to use the same number twice? Okay, great question, Isaiah. So yeah, each of these nine numbers need to be different. You need to come up with nine different numbers. Nash is going to work on this separately. So Nash is going to work on this upstairs, Isaiah is going to work on it downstairs. And the reason why they're doing it separately is when we come back to correct these boxes, every box that's got a number that matches the two clues gets one tick. So if you put 20 in there, Isaiah, that would be one tick. Yeah. But if you have a number that Nash doesn't have in that box, you get two ticks. Yeah. So the idea is to try to think of numbers that the other people that are playing the game are not going to have. So, are they the same? Yeah, so great question, Isaiah. So you and Nash have been given the exact same grid. Yeah? All right. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that when we introduce this with a group of kids, we don't go through and unpack the terminology. So I'm going to send them off to work on it. If they've got questions, what does this mean or whatever, we'll answer that as we go rather than do it at the start. So Isaiah, you've got your texter. Don't start yet because Nash is in the room. Nash, you go take that upstairs to the study. Yeah, best of luck. Okay, so Nash is back with his um, filled in grid. Isaiah's got his filled in grid. Now, you may have already realised there's a bit of a flaw if you just play as a two-player game, in that if Nash comes up with a unique number, well then Isaiah is also going to get the two ticks. But when you play this as a whole class, and you've got, you know, maybe you've got 12 groups of two playing the game, now you've got 12 different people filling it in, and it does reward the kids that push themselves and try to come up with numbers. So let's have a look, Nash, even less than 30, is, does four match that clue? Yeah. Beautiful, and 14? Fantastic. Okay, multiple. Don't I get two ticks? Oh, yeah, you do get two ticks. Beautiful. How dare you? Multiple of five and even. 230? Yes. Uh, it's two ticks. 25? Uh, no. Really? Why not? Because it's not even. Is 25 even, Isaiah? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so multiple of five is right. Plus. Yeah, so that's okay. You don't even need to get cross. We just don't give it a tick, yeah? Can I get Can... the cross? Can you think of can you think of an even number that's a multiple of five? Write it in. Yeah. Go. Beautiful, Isaiah. Uh, and you'll notice when we were playing, I didn't stop Isaiah and correct him. I think it's okay to let people make mistakes. And 11 is a double tick, and 17 is a double tick. So while I'm talking, guys, you can count up your ticks quietly. 18. 12. 12. Fantastic. So that's a maths grid. Uh, they work really well with all year levels. If you're doing with a younger year level, you might want to get rid of one of the columns, so there's only six boxes to fill in. It's also a really good way to introduce it to the whole class is not to play it with partners or groups of threes as, as a small game, but do it as a whole class warm up. So put this up on the board. Say we've got nine boxes. We want nine different people to put their hands up and, and give us numbers. Uh, really good way to unpack mathematical vocab. Uh, so that's a maths grid. We hope you enjoy playing. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.